Lady Wildcats versus the Harlingen Lady Cardinals. This is Tuesday night action at West Lacoise High School. The Lady Wildcats winless in 32-6-8. Trying to get things going. And Yadi Marin helping the cause right there with the foul and the bucket. Harlingen on the other side. Julianne Garza, the inside game. Working it nicely right there on the left-hand side. East was dealing with a lot of defensive pressure, trying to break it, and they do right here, finding Desiree Garcia. She launches the three-pointer, and it's good for her. Then East with the pressure right here, causing a turnover. Valerie Castaneda slices through the defense, and she puts up the points right there, but they're still down 10-8. Harlingen starts to pull away here. Nadia Flores, the big rebound. Then from the wing, count it. Making it 18 to 8. Harlingen, that's right. The Wildcats were down by 10. Then they get going. This is Castaneda. Shot right there is good. Caitlin Rodriguez on the little breakaway. Count it. How about Marin? Marin had a huge game for the Lady Wildcats. Inside right here. Count that one. Gabby Kirtley helping right Sita. here Kirtley driving the baseline. Kirtley tie this game up 18 to 18 as the Lady Wildcats go on an 8-0 run. Garcia, another three-pointer, count it for West Lacoes, and the Lady Wildcats were leading 22 to 20 at the half in the third quarter. More Marine going to the left-hand side. 25-22 East late in the third quarter. The inbound pass. Marine, she scores and the foul. Marine with 15 points in the game. West Lacoes leading 32 31. The score was 34 33. Harlingen entering the fourth quarter, and that is when Harlingen goes on a run. Their defense was stifling, and then they were hitting their buckets. He struggled to score as Lady Cardinals got hot from the field, and they win this contest by a final score of 48 to 41. Despite the loss, now West Lacoeus 0-4 in district. Coach Chris Cromer says his team is not giving up on the season and making the playoffs. I'm going to tell you what I tell my team. Our goal is to make the playoffs, and we're going to keep fighting. Okay? Our football team was two. I'm sorry, one and three, and they went three deep. The coaches never quit. The kids never quit. That's the East. Those are the same kids that walk the hallways here. And I got, I got, I, I don't just say it. I mean it. We. If you were to pull this into football coming in tonight, we were, um, it's in, in football, in basketball, being one and three is like being two and six. Well, we're not two and six yet. So there's still a lot of basketball to be played. This wasn't the game we had to win to make the playoffs. We knew that. And, you know, we, we wanted to get it. We didn't get it. We're going to try them again. We're going to get them at their place. And we're going to keep fighting. Coach, what, what did you talk to us about the effort uh, Yaritza Marin gave and, and Marquez? She's, she's a champion. I, 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 uh, I'll tell you, you know, sometimes when you're losing, when you don't have the record you want, you go home frustrated. I don't go home frustrated. I, I, I'm excited when I work these kids. They, I am not frustrated. Yaritza Marin is the picture-perfect kid. I, there's nothing about her I dislike. Uh, last year, she had trouble finishing her shots. And I'm, I'm so proud to say we have developed that. That was a lot of sweat and time have gone into working with Yaritza. I'm so proud of her. Um, she's big. She's tough. She's a leader. She's a leader off the court. She's a leader in the hallways, too. And I'm just I'm proud to coach her, and I'm not giving up. We're not giving up on her or the team. We're going we're gonna to stick around. It's going to be – I just feel like in February it's going to be a different story.